Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Skill RPA. In the previous session, what we have seen is like uh, how to launch this uh, portal and to download the spreadsheet. So now in this video, what we are going to do is we'll be logging into the procurement anywhere application after clicking on this hyperlink and then we'll be extracting this username and password. And also we'll capture all these PO numbers and we'll add this to the orchestrator queue. So let us get into this. Now, what we will do is uh, we won't open the procurement anywhere application right now. We'll get the URL of this procurement anywhere application and then we'll take the username and password. We'll pass it on back to the main workflow. So let us create one more sequence here. Get get procurement anywhere application details. So for that, what we'll do is we'll use attach brochure. It's done, and we'll use get attribute. And we'll identify this procurement anywhere application. Take this tab and we need to pass it on back to the dispatcher and from there to the main, right? So we'll create an output where uh, argument here out underscore procurement anywhere URL. And the direction will be out. And we'll keep this out underscore procurement anywhere URL. So now we got this and we need to extract the text also. So get text activity will use and we'll take the whole text and we'll try to get the information of uh, username and password. We go with this and we'll create a variable. So let us consider this to be an intro of this or header kind of thing. So, but uh, we, what we need is get, I'm sorry, sorry, procurement application details. And then what we will do is we'll first try to get the text for between these two curly braces. Or what we'll do is like between the username and password and password and this symbol. Okay. So let me take this text and I'll just go to rejects. Okay. Let me put the whole text here. And uh, so I was not sure like how I need to take this. So what I'll do is I'll go to Google, get text between two strings rejects. So this is going to give me this format, what I can use. So let me take this and let me put it here. And what I need is in between these two. And there is a space as well. Or else directly I'll just put a space and I'll take a password here. So what it will do is it will you return me the text in between these two the space. So I'm getting the username for this. So what I'll use is I'll just take copy this and I'll go here and I'll use match matches activity and I'll put the regular expression pattern in between this. And here in the input, we'll be passing on what all the text we extracted is. So procurement application details. So we created this variable 
but we didn't give it back here, right? So we'll give it here. And here we need to create the output. Match username. And we'll take an assign activity. And we need to create a username out argument, right? So out underscore user email to log in. So the direction will be out and the type will be string. So out user email and from the matched, whatever we matched, match username of zero, zero index dot two string. So this will return me the user email. So we will be saving this and we got this right. So we'll now what we need is we need a password. So let us go to match and so let us come here so for the password right i need to go for password here instead of username and the last is this closing braces so i just need to put and it won't help me unless and until if i give a slash because we need to give an escape character sequence because this closing parenthesis has a special um purpose in the regular expressions. So now what I'll do is I'll come here and I'll put this regular expression pattern here and the input will be our procurement application details, the output of get text. And here match password and password also we need to return it back. So what we'll do is out password and the direction will be out. So let us take it here and we just need to get an assign activity. So we'll be saying out password and match password of zero. We'll be taking the zero index dot to string. So with this, we almost done and just let us rename these activities, assign password and match password assign user email match user email get recruitment app details Get procurement anywhere URL attach SCM application. So now what we have done is we identified the browser and we are trying to get the URL of this procurement anywhere application with the help of get attribute activity and we will be getting this URL. And then we take in the whole text, whatever we have here. And then we use the regular expression patterns in order to extract the username and the password as well. And let us do one thing. Let us just uh, write a log message here just to make sure that everything is working as expected before uh, invoking this into the dispatcher. So URL. out url let us write environment dot new line so that the next thing will be printed in the next line so username out user email plus environment dot new line plus password out password so let us run and let us see whether we are getting the things exactly as what we required or not so what is executing 
so we are getting that instance of an object not set or what which one assign user email okay so here we have what it is saying that nothing is matching let us see what we are getting it here let us run in the debug mode why we are not getting it so in the immediate panel so we got this right document anywhere and everything but why we are not getting the things out of it is so we should have let us go to where is the locals yeah so we need to check this match username Let us do one thing. Let me take this configure regular expression, and we gave the advanced for this. And let us put the test text here, so we can do from this as well. So it should return us some value, right? Yeah, this is the thing which we need to get it out of it. But why we are not getting? It? Match username. Why aren't we getting this out of it? What does this? Object reference is not set to the instance of an object, but it should be here, right? We run it again. We got this URL. That is fine. But object reference not set to an instance of object will get. Case if we have something, one thing zero. So we are not getting anything out of it. Why it is not matching? When I configure the pattern, I am getting the value. Do one thing. The slash here. The slash here. When we have a special characters, right? That is the challenge. What we are going to face in general. We see. So here is the catch. Let me copy this and let me put this here. So instead of copying, right, when the body is extracting, this looks to be a bit different, right? Like uh, if you see here in the output, so. We, this is like there is a line break here. So, what we will do is for the password, we will be removing the negative look behind, which means like we'll be supposed to look forward. And now we will execute this file. Output 
So now we got the URL and username and password. Let me copy this URL. Let us try to put this in a new tab. It's not working. Sorry. I just need only URL and I need to remove all the other stuff. Render. But one thing, let me see how we are going to get it. Oh, this is not href then. Let me do one thing. Let me come here. There will be something called as URL. Do we have the URL? Let me go with the app path and see. Let us see how it is working, going to work. not app path so this uh, url is not working out so what we'll do is like we'll click on that but from this we are going to take the username and password out of this file and let me delete this so we are going to take the username and password out of this and let me drag and drop this yeah and here from here also it need to go out right so let me put username out password it will be out here also it is out so now we got the username and password for the procurement application as well and what we need to do in the dispatcher is we need to capture these PO numbers and then we need to add the data to the queues. So what we will do is sequence SCM add data to queue. Why I am keeping this under the SCM is because we are going to work on that. SCM only attach browser. Okay, close this regex builder. We don't have anything to do with that. So we need to extract all these PO numbers. So the basic thing or simple thing what we need to do is like we just need to go with the data scrapping. Click on next, select this, and we just need to identify the pattern. Next one. So we got all the columns, right? So let us try put it PO number next so we are not getting any PO numbers like empty values the way is like we can loop through this in order to get the PO numbers by using the get text activity but there is another option so which what we are going to do is first we will be we, we need to spy the IDs what is the ID for each right so let me come here indicate on screen and it is P1 number 3. And in case if I take the next one, it will be 4. Right? So let us go to the first. And let me take the second one. Second one, number will be 2. So it is like based on the number, it is keep on changing. Right? So what I'll do is, I'll use first element exist i'll just identify this and then what i'll say is control k new po number exists and we'll use a if condition new PO number exists then what we'll do is we'll use get text to get the PO number let me identify in the second okay I'll tell you the reason why I'm saying like why I want to go with second is here 
directly i'm not getting that i need to select from here id but there if, if i go with the second right it will directly give me this so i'm just i just want to try to avoid that that's it nothing else and i need to take a counter to roam around so field counter and it will be integer and initially it will be one field counter so i'm just writing assign field counter one and then two Just put new P one number exists, and then what I'll do is I'll just increment the counter. Field counter equal to plus one increment. Field counter. If new pivot exists, new pivot exists, and go to the properties. We need to select right. So what I'll do is I'll just take an assign activity. And I'll just create field selector. It will be of type string field selector equal to field counter dot to string. So I'll just do this rename. Yeah. So go to UI Explorer here. Select to right click cancel. Let me open this in your explorer. Choose variable field selector. Save. Click OK. And here in the get text activity, same. Open in your explorer. Select this right click, choose variable, and it will be field selector. And save this. Click OK. Get your number. And we need to add this to the queue. So we need to have a queue name in underscore queue name. So what we need to do is add Q item. Add PO number. So what we will do is we'll select this and we need to pass on the item information. So on this PO number field counter. Let us say selector. Okay, here. What is out of this? We don't have it, so we'll create this. Pivot number. So we'll be assigning this pivot number here, and here. We'll be going with item information, PO number, and then field selector. Click on OK. Why? What happened? PO number is of type string only, right? And why we are getting this? Let me see. Yeah, this is fine. So we just need to give the 
queue name non underscore queue name and we need to create the queue here so let me log into the ui path orchestrator so till now we never touch we didn't touch the orchestrator but now we are going to touch it too wait for a while Still on here, and it is under shared folder. Also, let me change it. Sorry, we'll change to the learning folder, and we are going to create the queue in the learning folder. Go to queues, SCM, PO, tracking. So, I'm not changing anything. Let me remove the auto retry. I don't want to retry this. Any transaction fails, add. We got it right. So I just need to take this queue name. And let us pass a default for now, just to execute this workflow. Let me run this. We just want to make sure that everything is working as expected. transactions yeah, transactions got added seven transactions got added let us see it will take a lot of time because once uh, we reach this date then we are not going to have the data right so it will take 30 seconds in order to stop the robot and we can optimize this time as well there is no problem in that let us see yeah so we got it got completed so what we will do is see, we know that ps is already loaded and there is nothing to wait for 30 seconds. So what we will do is we are not doing anything, right? So we'll just keep only two seconds for this element like this. We don't want to go for more. So the data is getting added. So we're done with this. Adding the queue items as well. So let me close this. Let us do one thing. Read the queue name here in the dispatcher in order to add the data, right? So we are copying it here. It's an inaugurement for this. Right. Okay. And let us remove the default from here. Save this and close this. And drag and drop the SCM add queue item. We are going to pass in underscore queue name. So with this, we completed this patcher. We just need to configure it in the init. And we need to do that in the here, right in the first execution. So let me come here and let us put this drag and drop this dispatcher here. And we need to pass on all the values. So to pass the values, and we are going to get the procurement anywhere application username and password as well. So let us take that PA. Procurement anywhere username. Procurement anywhere password. So we have these two values. So what we will do is we'll just take this procurement anywhere username and procurement anywhere password and we need a data mapping as well right so we need that in the main and because we need to pass this to the process so agent mapping and we will change the scope for this we are going to where is this agent mapping to the agent mapping we will change this from first round to general business process we will be changing the scope because we want to access that even in the process as well so what this we completed almost everything but we just need to configure the this url in the assets and this queue name is also in the mapping sheet sorry uh, config file let me go here let me open the data and config file and we are going to keep this value here okay and under the assets 
we are going to keep SCM underscore SCM application URL and we are just using the same name for asset creation as well and we'll copy this and we are going to create an asset here under the learnings we'll go to the assets and we are going to create the asset and this is of text and uh, the value will be so we are going to put this in the asset and we'll be removing the double quotes create we got it and now what we are going to do is we are going we need to give the credentials for so we can put that in either in the settings or constant sheet so we are going to use scm underscore procurement anywhere credentials we just need to copy this and we are going to create the credential asset so that we will be using that in the init so we are going to create an asset for procurement anywhere with this name and the type is credential and the username i'm just giving set set and create so i just gave us some random values over there i didn't give any uh, proper username or password let me tell you the reason as well I'll, 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 uh, we'll see how it works actually okay now from assets i need to take this url because i need to give this into this dispatcher so config inside the double quotes we are passing the url so it's done so for this also we need to take the queue name right so orchestrator queue name we are going to take it config and we are going to pass this here dot two strings got it so now we're done with this and we need to update the asset right we need to update the password we'll take set credential and the credential name is whatever we have given here in the procurement anywhere credential and we'll be giving config of this credential name dot to string and the password is whatever we have taken from the application and the username will be procurement anywhere username if let us run this and see if the orchestrator credential name is updated or not set procurement anywhere credential and then we'll see uh, how we can open that and how we are going to log into that application and do all the other things so for now let us go here so later we'll go to this uh, init all applications so let me do one thing let me close this application uh, config file and let me close all of this let us run the dispatcher so with this we complete the dispatcher in case if everything went well let me run this file happening see all processes nothing till now we didn't wrote anything into the killing of applications right so i don't think like it will do anything over there so it's open the application and it should download the agent directory spreadsheet and it should take the username and password and it should update okay sorry value for the argument is not set or invalid okay let me see 
why we are getting this initialization the value is not set let me see why we are getting this Oops. so we should get out username out password so this is the challenge what we face right now let us do one thing let us run it out now let us run it again so let us keep this open because we already saw right so it should close the things uh, because uh, in the retry we are trying to close this and reopen right so let us see how it will go it should close this and then it should reopen yeah it closed and it reopened so in the retry also it is working as expected so in the background with the http it is trying to download the file and then it is going for rating the data I guess let us see how the things will move and anyhow like we are not closing this right so and we are not using any UI interactions so in the parallel I just want to open the UI path orchestrator just to see we'll keep the log messages as well uh, so for now I think everything went as expected but I don't want to write this text whatever we are downloading okay so let me go to get procurement application details so i just want to delete this and we'll write that procurement other logs as well in the next session and let us see whether the asset is got updated or not so my area of focus is like whether the asset credential asset is got updated or not let me let us go to edit see like we gave some random text but now it updated the credential so cancel so uh, like with this we completed with our dispatcher and let us see the queue as well and previously we have seven and now it should be for 21 sorry yeah we have 21 like we got all the data and everything it was got marked so it added because nothing we have uh, kept in the uh, process.jml right so everything is got processed so we'll see uh, like in the next so with this session we completed our complete dispatcher even with the assets as well and we are taking we have taken the credentials for the procurement application and we updated that back in the orchestrator credential in case if something got changes here in the username or password immediately that will be updated back so and let us see whether we downloaded the agent spreadsheet or not so in the downloads yeah we got the agent spreadsheet also just now it got downloaded so we completed with our complete dispatcher and now we'll start with the opening of the application procurement anywhere and then we'll jump into the performer how we are going to build the performer from here thanks for watching and please subscribe to my youtube channel skill rpa